Welcome back to another session of Ask Kimberly Questions. We have gathered a lot of different questions from all the social media handles as well as on the blog. And I think these questions are really going to help you on your journey. They're ones that I see coming up a lot. So we'll just get right into the very first question. Do you wash vegetables whole or do you cut them up first? By Vera A. Bafolco. I always recommend washing the vegetables whole before you cut them and that way none of the bacteria could possibly get on your knife or your cutting board so it's just a cleaner way to cut your vegetables. The second question is regarding your probiotics plus does it matter when we take them in the day? Nicole Hasty. Probiotics plus can be taken with or without food so you can take it different times of the day but I really recommend taking it in the morning. That way it becomes a consistent habit, part of your routine that you do every day and you're less likely to forget. The next question is, hi Kimberly, can honey be substituted by organic blue agave sweetener? By Brooke Halu. So I wanna start off answering this question by saying that Agave should never be consumed in any form ever. Please, if you have agave at home, just throw it out. It's not worth your health and your skin and your beauty. Agave is very high in fructose, higher than high fructose corn syrup. It's highly refined, so it's never an acceptable choice. Honey is, you know, can be used in moderation. It is very sweet, so a little bit goes a long way, but it also has some medicinal properties. And if you are gonna use honey, be sure to use local, unheated or uh, raw if possible from a local beekeeper. And again, just use a tiny, tiny bit. There are some other sweetener choices, such as blending dates into desserts and you know, small amounts of erythritol or stevia. But again, all, all um, sweeteners should be used in moderation, except for agave, which should never be used. Next question. The amount of the glowing green smoothie is huge if it's for one person. Is it okay to store it in the refrigerator and for how long? by Eleonora Tabakova. So the full recipe for the GGS is for about 60 ounces, which makes a whole blender full. And as I write in Beauty Detox Foods and also on the blog, 16 to 24 ounces is a good amount of smoothie to start with. So the reason I give the full blender full is so that you can make it, you can share it with your friends and your roommates, um, your husband or your wife or whoever's around, or you can keep it covered and stored in your fridge for up to three days. But with the percentage of the fruit and the way the greens and the recipe is, it is easier, I find, to make a whole blender full, but I would never expect you to drink that much. Again, start with 16 to 24 ounces and you can see how you feel and build from there. Next question. What do you suggest for someone in the blossoming beauty phase who is having serious sugar withdrawals? Kendall Cody. As you're starting to get off sugar, of course, some cravings and, and imbalances may start to really come up and you may feel that in your body. So as you're working on the root, which is balance, I suggest it's, it's very, very important to keep taking your probiotics, especially something like Probiotics Plus, which is you know, made of SBOs, soil-based organisms, and can help balance the yeasts and, and um, you know, just bacteria in your system, which keeps crying out for sugar. Also, you can try some of our very simple, easy recipes, such as the uh, almond uh, latte made of almond milk and the Happy Cow Vegan Almost Raw Hot Chocolate, which is made of basically cacao and um, unsweetened almond milk. And for sweetener, you can put in a little bit of erythritol, which is a natural sugar alcohol or stevia, which comes from a plant. And that can help to give you something that tastes sweet but isn't going to completely imbalance your system. The next question is, I'm going over your glowing lean system and I'm curious about something. Tons of people drink supplement shakes. They say that we must consume a nutrient rich drink to make up for the lack of nutrients in today's grown food. What are your thoughts about this? Brianna Campbell Nash. 
So my answer is that there is discussion around this idea that the soil is depleted of of nutrients compared to you know the way the soil was in the past but it's important that you are focusing on eating whole foods which assimilate really well so it may feel tempting to just have a drink with all these different powders in it but how much is your body able to really absorb if you eat a really wide variety of plant foods grown in a wide variety of different soils you should you know, be able to get your nutrition from these whole plant foods, especially if your digestion is functioning well, especially if you're taking probiotics and your body is able to assimilate and use what you're eating. So my answer is, you know, focus on having a lot of different whole plant foods, especially the glowing green smoothie to get the mainstay of your nutrition. Thank you so much for joining me and please keep asking your questions on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and also on the blog. And maybe next time I will answer your question.